Look at that sky. Is it going to rain or is it going to be sunny? It's now day 41 of cab isolation, lockdown learning. Um, we've just rolled that field now because it was, had grass seed sown on it the other day. But it rained immediately after us and the top had gone quite solid and crapped a bit. So I've let it dry off and I've just rolled it now so it's all nice and crumbly. So we've got a, we've got a, a tunnel over there for the dogs to play in and run over the little mound for them to run over the top. So we've got the rollers on over here. Just going to shut the gate now, stop so as people don't come in and fly tip. That's the uh, the water treatment works that they're, that they're expanding at the moment. So they, there's a well underneath where they suck water up out the ground. So maybe the letter of the day should be W for well and water. So we're going to go and uh, roll the sweet corn in now. And uh, we'll have a look at the potatoes coming up because I forgot yesterday. Because they're in the same field. We're rolling the uh, sweet corn in now. You can see by the dust that there's not a lot of moisture despite us having rain the other day. We're going to um, hopefully trap some in. Make the seed flat, the top of the soil flatter. So when we put a pre-emergence spray on, there's less of a surface area for the spray. So it'll work better. If you imagine there's all cobbles the surface area of the field then is a lot bigger so when we put the chemical on it's got to go a lot further around things and it's not as effective whereas if the field's really flat you get a better concentration in, in the zone that we want in the top layer so hopefully the maize will come up but the weeds won't I look like I burnt my nose yesterday as well when I was uh, cleaning the bottom of the drill out and uh, messing around planting the peanuts so we're rolling the maize and the peanuts. We weren't sure whether to do it or not, but judging by the fact that there's no significant rain forecast for the next two weeks now, we need to keep as much moisture as we can. Although if the soil's too tight, the maize doesn't like pushing up through it. But luckily with the rollers being 12 meters, and then we're going quite fast, we're doing nine kilometers an hour, then it won't, it won't be too tight other than where the tractor's driven, because obviously that's a bit heavier. We're using the GPS and we're just we're, we're turning every 24 meters and then we'll fill in the gaps afterwards with the 12 meters between that way we're not scuffing the ends up when we turn as well and um, we're doing about nine kilometers an hour so if you times 9,000 meters by 12 that tells you how many square meters an hour we're doing it and a hectare is 10,000 square meters so we're probably doing around uh, 10 hectares an hour which is around 25 acres an hour so we're, we're fairly covering the ground so with it being a Sunday I should be finished quite handy that's the plan anyway I'll uh, go and show you the spuds now so three weeks ago these potatoes were planted um, and they're just coming through now that's pretty good really it's because it's been nice and warm and wet so another sort of three or four weeks we might have some uh, some potatoes on the tubers at the bottom because the, the potatoes are formed on the bottom of the root of the main plant which is the top so you can just see them just poking through all the way along the rows so that's pretty good quite pleased with that the ones that were planted a week later here yeah, they're not they're not growing at all yet but I would think in the next week or so they'll be poking through. I just hope we don't get any late frost now because that can kill them or, or severely knock them back a long way. So we'll carry on rolling this field and then uh, that's it for today. So see you all tomorrow. This is a sky lantern. They were invented by the Chinese as incendiary devices to set fire to cornfields. I don't know whether you can see, but this is very thin wire. When animals eat that, sheep, cows, anything, it kills them. It punches the stomach linings and kills them. And animals do eat them because the bright and funny colours. Just stop using them, people. Because all it is is it's just littering. You let it up in the sky. It doesn't. It doesn't land. It has to. What goes up has to come down. It lands either in the in the countryside. In a field that it can set on fire or in the sea where fish eat it or whales or something like that just please just don't bother with them if you've got sky lanterns in your cupboard just throw them in the bin